You know, hurricane season started this week, and we know that we have a lot of transplants new to Central Florida right now. Yeah, we are certainly a boom town lately, so welcome. If you, this might be your first hurricane season, and you may not know what to expect or how forecasting really works for these storms. It's different than, let's say, northern storms, right? So ClickOrlando.com's Randa Voles is here to explain how the cone we use to forecast storms is all works out. Well, Candace, as you know, when our Pinpoint Accurate Weather Team issues forecasts, they come with certain specifics to help you understand what's happening and what can happen. In the case of a hurricane, tropical storm, or tropical depression, it usually includes a track forecast cone, commonly known as the cone of uncertainty. Developed by the National Hurricane Center, this weather staple can sometimes cause confusion. So here is what you need to know about the cone. The cone of uncertainty's main function is to show a tropical system's projected track five days into the future. Within the cone is usually a dot indicating the forecast position of the storm's center, normally at 12 hour intervals. The cone is narrow close to the present time and gets wider as it projects farther ahead in time. That's because the forecast position error gets larger the longer into the future it gets. Another thing that can affect how wide the cone is, is how much in agreement computer models are on the track. Even though hurricane forecasting has improved to the point that 60 to 70% of tropical systems remain within the cone during their lifespan, it is important to remember that timing and strength errors still occur. For example, if you remember Hurricane Dorian in 2019, it initially looked like the storm would hit Central Florida head on near Cape Canaveral. But as time went on and it got closer to our coast, Things changed and we got very lucky. But the cone doesn't forecast the impact, just the wind speed. Timing matters. A storm hitting at high tide has a higher and more destructive storm surge than a storm hitting at low tide. And it's important to remember the cone focuses on the center of the storm, so impacts can be felt well outside of it. Plus, some recent storms unexpectedly rapidly intensified before landfall. That's what happened with Hurricane Michael in the Panhandle, which meant not everyone was prepared for the effects when the storm actually hit. So the bottom line is the cone of uncertainty is a great guide, but in the event a storm heads our way, it is important to rely on Candace and the rest of our Pinpoint weather team to get you all the information you need. Candace, I hope you're not too busy this season, but we are thankful to have you guys pinpointing for us. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, during the, the newscast on Monday for, for hurricane season. It was just so nice for everyone to be together when things aren't, you know, threatening. So we, right. hope, we, we love seeing each other, but normally that's because things aren't going well for Central it was, Florida. It was a happy all hands on deck. Exactly, right.